earthquakes all along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the latest magnitude 5.7 today, and this is an area that we don't really look at, but it is very active lately. And uh, we'll take a look at the maps. This is an, uh, 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 an example of it th running through Iceland, a very uh, major tourist uh, attraction. And you can see how the area is split up. And this is uh, full of magma underneath, of course. That's why we have all this uh, pulling apart. Isn't this a fascinating picture? This is a part of Iceland that is uh, showing us the Mid-Atlantic Ridge uh, opening. The ridge, as we know, wherever you have a ridge, you have, a, uh, you have magma underneath pulling the uh, surface of the uh, continent apart. And this is a very good example of it, as you can see here. This is in Iceland, the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge passing through the island of Iceland. And uh, we've had about seven earthquakes in the past week all along this ridge. I, I didn't report on this because I was keeping an eye on it, but all the way from the north over here, 5.0, uh, they were all superficial, about 10 kilometers depth. This is near Svaldbarg. Where was that? Svaldbarg. Svaldbarg. And, um, well, I don't know if we can go into the quake details. I don't think they have anything having to do with... Um, yeah, they don't have anything to do with the details, but we'll go into that later. And then you have two of them here, just north of the Azores. The Azores, as we know right here, are the triple junction of the North American plate, the African plate, and the European plate. That's the Azores, which are volcanic islands. And uh, this was just yesterday's quake. Uh, these islands are, this area is uh, owned by Portugal, 4.5 and a few minutes apart, 4.7. Exactly on the uh, area of the, uh, let's go here on the map, on the, uh, on the mid-Atlantic ridge. Let's go here on the aerial map. There you go. Historic earthquakes. And let's put in the uh, faults. And you can see it's right on there, right there. The red line is the fault between the North American plate and the European plate, the African plate. Let's keep in mind these things here. That's the 30 uh, seamount underwater volcanoes, the East Coast seamount. That's called the East Coast seamount. 30 underwater volcanoes pointing towards Maine and Rhode Island right there. Uh, Long Island and uh, Maine. Maine has five volcanoes, we know. And uh, this area here, which a lot of people don't talk about, around Quebec and upstate New York, this is a, a series of calderas, which is a Yellowstone-like supervolcano complex. Not many people talk about that. Uh, this is Yellowstone all, all the way over here, of course. Somewhere over here. Here. Okay, there, right there, okay. Uh, this is another, uh, this is called the Mid-Continental Rift of the United States and Canada over the Great Lakes. And it's like a horseshoe shape going like this. And this is, of course, the connection between the pulling apart of the North American plate, African plate, and Eurasian plate. And uh, let's go back to the uh, more earthquakes. These things here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And this was uh, three days ago, 4.6. And this was, again, um, three days ago, 4.9. This one was 5.3, May 31st. And as you can see, it's 4.6, 10 kilometers depth. It's all along the uh, Mid-Atlantic mid Ridge. And this one today, 10 kilometers depth, 5.3. And we can also go Mid-Atlantic Ridge all the way down here. You even have some down here, volcanic islands here, again. Now, uh, okay, we don't have too much about the latest Azores earthquakes. We have them every day uh, because it's a volcanic area, as you can see. Now, going back to the area of the uh, Mid-Continental. 
Mid Continental Ridge. Okay, here we are. Mid sorry, Mid Atlantic Ridge. This is the map of it, as you can see right here, all the way from the North Pole to the South Pole, right there. And you, we even have this area here of the Pangea separation animation. There you go. Right there, right there, right there. Let's see that a little bit more. It doesn't go up? Okay, it does, I guess it doesn't go up. There you go. A lot of, uh, a lot of major movement, as you can see. So that's where we're having our quakes lately. And um, just to uh, keep an eye on that, we do have a lot of, uh, that's, that's the picture we saw before the Iceland, in Iceland, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge Pass across the Ping Valier National Park population destination for tourists. And that's it. Basaltic rock collected by Hercules ROV underwater, as you can see there. The geology, the ridge sits atop a geologic feature of Mid-Atlantic Ridge, progressive bulge that runs the length of the Atlantic Ocean, with the ridge resting on the higher, highest portion of the linear bulge. The bulge is thought to be caused by upward connect connective forces in the asthenosphere, pushing the oceanic crust and lithosphere. This divergent boundary form first formed in the Triassic period, about 50.6 million years ago, and uh, when a series of three-armed grabbins coalesced on the supercontinent Pangaea to form the ridge, usually only two arms of any given three-armed grabbin become part of the divergent plate boundary. So um, failed arms are called allocogens, are part of the plate tectonics where oceanic and continental crust, crust continues being created, destroyed, rearranged. Uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge became many of the large river valleys seen across the America and Africa, including Mississippi River, Amazon River, Niger River, Fundy Bay on the Atlantic coast of North America between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and Canada, evidence of the ancestral Mid-Atlantic Ridge. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.